Uh, let's consider problem number 15, where we need to find the magnitude of the change in the gravitational potential energy of the ball Earth system. So the ball in the initial position uh, was over here, and then in the final position it went down. So this is my y initial, and this is y final, so this distance. Okay, what we need to find, uh, we need to find the change of the potential energy. And as we know, it is given by the potential energy of the gravity. And as we know, it is given by the mass of that, well, ball in this case, times the times g, times gravity constant, times delta y. So and delta y is given by y final minus. Um, so delta, delta y, uh, it, it will be the change of the y final minus y initial, right? So delta y is y final minus y initial. Okay, so uh, let me find out delta y. So to find delta y, I will first consider this uh, line over here, and the length of this line I will call h. Okay, so delta y is simply minus h. Okay, so, but let me find h. So h is the opposite side to the angle theta. Okay, why I'll know uh, that the hypotenuse of this right triangle over here is L. Okay, and this is why h is L times sine of the angle theta. Okay, uh, so and delta y is thus minus L times sine of the single theta. So now we can substitute it back into our equation for the change of the potential energy. It will be minus mg times L times sine of theta. Okay, now we can substitute the numbers. So the numbers are, the mass is 37 grams. So it is minus 37 times 10 to the negative three kilograms. Uh, the gravity constant is 9.8 meters per second square. The length of the string is 0.65 meters. And it is all multiplied by the sine of 39 degrees. Substituting all the numbers and using my calculator, I obtain negative 0.1 148 uh, joules. Okay, so what we need to find is actually only the magnitude of this change. So we can just discard the sign and this will be our final answer.